In this video, we will learn about a locus problem. We will use a problem from ISI entrance to do just that. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. My name is Ashwini Dajgupto. I'm one of the faculty members at Chinta. Let's start with the problem. We will draw a coordinate axis, the X and Y axis, and we'll mark the point 8,4 on the coordinate plane. So this is a fixed point that we will be using. Next, draw a line, any line, that passes through 8,4. I've just drawn one line. You can draw a different line, actually. And then, mark the two endpoints as M and N. Uh, M is the point where the green line intersects the y-axis and n is the point where the green line intersects the x-axis. Finally, mark the midpoint P of this particular segment MN. Okay, so this is all this is given. This is given data and um, now we come to the goal of the problem. Imagine that the point that the line segment MN is moving and it always passes through the point 8,4. The question is, what will be the path traced out by the midpoint P? That's the question. What is the locus of the point P? Before we go into that, let me briefly tell you about Chinta. Uh, Chinta has two aspects which are quite unique, uh, a combination of two aspects one-on-one -on -one classes for every student and group classes to supplement that. The sessions are conducted by Olympians, researchers, and people who are extremely interested in mathematics. If you love mathematics, you, can, you should visit chinta.com for more information. Let's come back to the problem again. Uh, we have this segment MN passing through the point 8,4, and P is the midpoint of MN. We want to find out what happens to P as MN moves, always passing through the point 8,4. So suppose the coordinate of P is x, y. A little bit of coordinate geometry will tell you that the coordinate of M is 0, 2y and the coordinate of N is 2x, 0. That is if we have the midpoint P as x comma y right okay so the question is as P moves what is it that does not change because whatever does not change will help us to find out an equation a locus for the point P let me get back to the picture one more time Let's see what is it that does not change as MN moves. So look at the slope of the line segment from P to 8,4. From P to the point 8,4. And then look at the line segment MN. The slope of M to N of this particular line segment MN must be equal to the slope of P to 8,4 whatever might be the position of MN. And that is exactly what our invariant is. So the slope from P to 8,4 is 4 minus Y by 8 minus X. And slope from MN is 0 minus 2Y by 2X minus 0. Whatever might be the position of MN, as long as it passes through 8,4, the slope from P to 8,4 should be equal to the slope from M to N. This is a trick. The one that, if you want to find out locus of something, some point, try to find out what does not change. So, we will equate this 4 minus Y by 8 minus X with 0 minus 2Y and 2X minus 0. And then the remaining is simply cross multiplying 
and simplifying this expression to get the final answer which is x y minus 2 x minus 4 y equal to 0. That's, that's all for this video. Keep on subscribe to Chinta for more beautiful videos on mathematics. Go to Chinta.com for more resources. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.